Today I'm playing in the competition with the top leaderboard Grandmaster Jaden, who has won the 1v1 Risk World Tournament of Spring 2022, in which myself I finished in the 8th place. You get 1 point by winning going first, 2 points by winning going second, the person who scores the most points in the period of 6 rounds, wins the series. The first game is Jules Verne's Mysterious Island World Domination and this is how our territory setup looked at the end. I decided to place my army into this very disconnected place, and my opponent put his army to this territory. Then my opponent with the lighting speed captured as many territories as possible, and with his newly 7 troops which he added next to my army, started doing manual rolls which went absolutely horribly for him. So when my turn came I focused on capturing as many territories as possible in the way which would let me capture as many continents as possible to without making any troop splits, and I also had to make sure that I will be able to break through all of my opponent's captured continents. As you saw I took a very huge lead and the game was immediately over from my opponent. After first game the result becomes 2-0 with me being in the lead. The second game is Brazil Capital Conquest, and we went with the standard capital places for the first and second players. I placed 9 troops on that territory, so my opponent would break through another side, and with that his capital army would become inaccessible to reach that continent next turn. My opponent while at first considered to breaking that border by adding his newly troops on that territory so he wouldn't immediately block himself the way at the end decided to go with his main army and manual roll my secondary army to one troop. I then recaptured that continent splitting my armies without unleashing my opponent's biggest army the way, and my opponent didn't get good enough manual rolls to break through one of my borders with his newly gotten troops, so then he fortified a good amount of troops out of his main army. Then I decided to capture some extra territories so to make my opponent waste his troops on capturing them as well, because as the first player in small caps games you want to play aggressively. But looking to the troops killed lost ratio, I was even 7 troops behind my opponent, so I was in a very terrible position and that didn't really help. I still tried to play as aggressively as possible, and right here with my opponent not having a set while I did, I've got a 29% blitz which honestly was very bad for the first player, as the equilibrium for the first player is 66%. But those 29% were probably the best shot for me to win the game. But I still decided to continue playing to see how it goes. But with every turn my situation was even worse and worse, and especially it was very bad here when my opponent got a good attacker's advantage, but probably I shouldn't have done that troop split. Then I regained the 3 troops here. And still continued playing aggressively, but with not taking the initial 29% odds, the blitz success chance on my opponent's capital was getting lower and lower. So for example here I had 12% chance to blitz my opponent's capital and the most bizarre thing was that I already had traded in my set while my opponent did that. And then eventually the chance to blitz my opponent's capital became zero, so it was really impossible for me to win this game anymore, well at least by doing the blitz roll myself, so since it was zero chance, I was just waiting for my opponent to blitz my capital, as I mean even if he gets 90% chance to blitz my capital, it's still better for me that he would have 10% chance to fail, over me taking 0% blitz roll. So right here I didn't even fortify my 4 troops to my capital, so to increase the likelihood of my opponent to go for my capital, and then in the next turn I didn't fortify my troops back to my capital either. And my opponent then went super aggressively here with attacking with 3 different armies at once. And this is what made him blunder his dominating position, right here I've got 40% chance to blitz his capital, which with doing manual rolls once. I increased it to even 49%, and very luckily won the game. From the completely losing situation I've got to the coin flip. And after the second game the result becomes 3-0 with me increasing the lead. The third game is King Dynasty World Domination. And I think my opponent was picking the territories much better than me, but at the end I still got away for a coin flip to at the end end up having 50% chance to be accessible to his army. 
as I could have either place that army here and be accessible to those territories, or to put my army to this territory and cover these three spots. And I decided to go for the former option predicting my opponent stack correctly, but I failed the 93% blitz roll and with that the game was immediately over for me. After 3 games the result becomes 3-2 with my opponent catching up. The 4th game is Dino World World Domination. And this is how our territory setup looked at the end. And I decided to place my army here so I will have a chance to at least capture the bottom continent, or if I'm lucky even both of them. And my opponent decided to do the troop split by placing one of his armies here, while another one here. So I crushed my opponent's army in my continent getting the attacker's advantage of 5 troops and capturing the bottom continent, and then since my opponent's second army was blocked from the upper continent, I captured it as well, fortifying that army outside of my continents, so next turn I would be able to capture territories with it while still protecting my continents. And my opponent in his turn captured some continents including this one border one. And since I didn't know what fortification choice he made I decided to do that troop split here. And then captured a bunch of territories. At the end I misclicked to fortify three troops on the border fortifying them here. But that didn't matter at all because the advantage I took was unstoppable. I won and the result becomes 4-2 with me increasing my lead. The fifth game is Castle Capital Conquest. And I placed my capital here with a secondary army here. And my opponent placed his capital here to intend to hold that continent with only two borders to guard. My opponent captured that continent and then capturing some territories with his secondary army, he fortified those troops to capital. I captured my continent, and then I broke through all of my opponent's continents capturing some continents myself and then fortified my 6 troops army here. Then my opponent broke through my continent through the further border, so he would still be one territory behind my capital, and I wouldn't get one territory access to his capital either. And then he made that troop split here, then getting a terrible blitz roll on my 6 troops army, so with that he failed to break through one of my continents which led me receive extra troops as well as with one extra troop territorial bonus for having 12 territories. So I decided to capitalize my advantage on capturing more stuff before the 3 rounds ending. I had a very good troops killed lost ratio having a big advantage. And then probably the best shot for my opponent would have been here after trading in a set at 3 cards to go for the 0% capital chance which if with getting super lucky manual rolls might have increased. As I've got the total dominance here. Then I might have played too aggressively, but my opponent still had 0% chance, and the manual rolls didn't really help him here anymore. After 5 games the result becomes 6-2 with me getting an unstoppable lead. The 6th game is Simple World Capital Conquest. And I placed my capital here with a secondary army here, and my opponent placed his capital here, while his two armies in the way to be prepared to counter both of those places no matter in which one I would have placed my secondary army so that was very smart of him. But since I placed a relatively big army he didn't have a 100% chance blitz rule, with it being 73%, and my opponent ended up losing it. He left some troops in South America so I made that troop split to make sure to invade him into both of his captured continents, and then I captured North America. My opponent proceeded laying very aggressively here and I just simply didn't have enough troops to break through all of his continents since my main army wasn't accessible to these continents. So my opponent got some advantage back. And then since my position wasn't so great, and that there was also a chance for my opponent to have a set at 3 cards with my capital being very weak, I saw it as the best chance to go for my opponent's capital immediately. It was 34%, so because the blitz was below 50% I decided to go with manual rolls, but they were horrible and I ended up losing. The final score is 6-3 with me winning the series. Now for more 1v1 competitions click on the playlist at the right and for more 1v1 strategy tips click on the playlist at the left.